Steve Moran with a Senior Living Foresight. This is day one of our series on how to improve your sales with a, te with a, um, a, a tip each day that you can put to work immediately. And I would add that we have a complete sales course that's available to you if you really want to put your game at a very high level, like a professional football player, as a professional sports player. So I'm with Russell Rush, the inventor of the R3 R1 system. And today, Russell, what I'd like to talk about is why it is so important that prospects see you as a salesperson, as a senior living expert. There really is very few things that are as important because uh, people want to listen to and they respect experts. And many times they'll do what an expert recommends, even if they really shouldn't in some cases, but in our case, they should, which means they should use senior living, but they have to view us as an expert in order to listen to our advice. And one of our main advices is we want them to move their family member or we want the resident to move in and live in the community to have a better outcome. So there's several ways that a senior living professional can present themselves as an expert. One thing they need to be very knowledgeable about the operations of their community. They need to understand how everything works, including how their community makes money. It's very, very important that they understand this without getting involved in operations. They obviously don't want to get involved in operations. So how do Additionally, I as a salesperson, how do I as a salesperson mm -hmm. figure out if I don't feel like an expert, what do I do? Well, one of the things they could really do, Steve, I learn a lot by reading your blog. I read it every single day, even if I don't think it applies to what I'm doing. I learn a lot of these things about what's going on in the industry, how people are serving seniors, various products and services, how they apply. I've learned a lot over the last year plus every day. I never miss a day. I read every single article on Senior Living Foresight. And I read as much as I can in the general press about what's going on in senior living. It's just a good thing to know what's going on in your industry. It helps build up your expertise. Perfect. And then I would offer a couple more things is to really dig, to be curious about your community. Ask why they do things the way they do things. Don't do it in a way that feels jerky, but just to grow your knowledge. So that is so, so important because nobody wants to buy from an amateur. Russell, thanks. Exactly. So, so if, you're, if you're feeling like you're not an expert, go out and work on it. And I, the last thing I would like to say is there's probably a little bit of fake it until you make it here, right? Right. I've got another suggestion. That is make sure that you're dressed sharply. Make sure that you're dressed in a very professional way so that you present yourself as an authority. Again, people listen to authorities and experts in fields. And so if you can present yourself as an authority and expert, all the better. Perfect. Thank you, Russell, very much. Um, and uh, that's our tip for today.